Good morning, everyone. My name is Coach Scott. I'm going to be your coach today for today's Tumble Tykes virtual pre-K gymnastics class. I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm excited to be here with you. We're going to do some uh, different skills today uh, compared to last week. So last week we did forward rolls. Uh, we also did some log rolls today. We're going to review those, but we're also going to work on some balance beam skills, okay? So uh, parents, uh, if you didn't get my email from uh, yesterday, uh, you have a few minutes here before we get to the balance beam stuff. Um, uh, really, what we need is a straight line uh, that your child can walk along to work on these skills. So you really don't need much. That's the idea of all these lessons. Just what you have at home should work just fine. Um, so you want to have a beam. And then today's activity is sticks. So uh, I have a couple of sticks I brought home from the gym. Um, you may not have sticks like this, but if you have wooden spoons, uh, any kind of kitchen utensil, a uh, Teflon spoon, obviously not a can opener, uh, but you know something that is long, uh, wooden would be ideal, I believe, uh, that we can use to drum on the floor. That would be perfect, okay? So sticks and a beam are what we need for class today, and I'm so glad that you're with me here. So we're gonna get started with our warm up. Hopefully you have a nice open area so that you can jump around, get active, and not bump into anything so that you're safe, okay? So we're gonna get started. We're gonna do the animal warm up similar to what we did uh, last Tuesday, but we're gonna do each animal for 20 seconds, all right? So we're gonna be, at one point, we're gonna be a cheetah running as fast as we can, all right? Then at another, we're gonna be a gorilla and we're gonna beat our chest like a gorilla, okay? And we're gonna do starfish jumps. So we're gonna jump like this, we're gonna go starfish, jump down, all right? Then we're also going to turn into a crab, a bear, a frog. I've got a bunch of different animals, and each one has something you need to do. So make sure we've got our listening ears on. Turn them up really loud so you can hear me. Listening ears are on. You're watching so you can see me do it. I'll show you how, and we're going to have a great time, okay? So let's start by doing our frog jumps, okay? We're going to put our feet down, hands in between. We're going to jump. Ready? Go. Jump. And we're going to do this for 20 seconds. Can you rib it like a frog? Rib it. Just keep jumping, just keep jumping, just keep jumping, 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 jumping. Two, one. Good job. All right. Our next animal is going to be a bear. So we're going to crawl like a bear. Make sure you make your best bear noise. I practiced mine from last week. Go. Straight arms, straight legs, walk. Sorry, that's my best bear noise that I could come up with. Straight arms, straight legs. Walking around like a bear that just got up from its nap. And down. Our next animal is a gorilla. You're going to sit down, kind of in a squat, and you're going to beat your chest as you walk around. Ready, go. 20 seconds, Woo. don't fall down. Walk around on your feet. Gorilla shuffle. Keep shuffling. Four, three, two, one, and done. All right, now we're gonna do starfish jumps. So stand up tall, shake it out. Arms by your side, legs together. Ready, out. In, out, in, and keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Good. Now we're going to run like a cheetah. How fast can you run? Can you run super fast? I bet you can. Are you ready? Get set. Go. And try to go a little bit faster. And a little bit faster. And super fast. Run, 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 run. Keep running, run fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Whew. All right. We got two more. Ready? Sit down on the floor. Hands behind you. Feet in front. We're going to walk like a crab. And go. Walking around, wherever you are, just keep walking like a crab. Five, 
keep walking. Maybe do a little bit of crab action. Good. And done. All right. Last one is an elephant stomp. You're going to stand up tall. We're going to march in place. We're going to stomp. Ready? Go. Big, loud stomps. I want to hear it all the way from Bridgewater. I don't know where you are, but that's where I am. Stomping our feet. Like an elephant. And good. Good job. All right, let's sit down on our bums. We're going to be in our straddle. Point our toes. See how these are flexed? Point. Good. Arms up. Four big claps. Go one, two, three, and four. Reach for one foot. What was your favorite animal? Oh, yeah? Three big claps. One, two, three. I think mine was probably not the gorilla shuffle. Not at all. I think my favorite was the, the cheetah run, running really fast. Arms up high. Two big claps. Go one, two. Reach for the middle. Keep those toes pointed, knees flat on the ground. Reach, reach, reach. Good, one big clap. And we're gonna shake our legs into the middle. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your legs and your arms. Shake everything you got. And stop. Hope you did a good job listening. We're gonna work on our listening skills today during class, okay? Now, with our legs together, we're going to, I'll do this so you can see my feet. What are my toes doing? Do you know, do you remember what this is called? What are they doing? Ah, they're pointing, right? Now, if this is pointing, now what are they doing? Can you see my toes? They're flexing, right? Okay, so we're gonna flex our toes, legs together, knees are nice and flat, arms up high. We're gonna touch our toes five times. Ready? Go one, all the way up, two, all the way up, three, four, five. Good job. Now, we're gonna lift one leg, and we're gonna draw a picture really fast. Move your foot all around, draw, 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 draw. What'd you make? Really? That's fantastic, I don't know how you did that so fast. Grab your knee, give it a squeeze, and a kiss. Excellent. Other leg, draw another picture really quickly. And on the count of four, tell me what it is that you drew today. Ready, what'd you draw? One, two, Three, four, unicorn. I always go for the unicorn. All right, and squeeze your knee. I love what you drew though, it's beautiful. And give your knee a kiss. Good, now we're gonna bring our feet together, hold our feet with our hands, and we're gonna flap our wings like a butterfly. And we're gonna fly all around the backyard to visit the different flowers that are blooming. The tulips will be up soon. So flap, 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 fly all the way around your yard. Check out the new tree that's growing from an acorn that fell last fall. Look at the grass. Maybe the grass is getting to be a little green. All right, good. And now we're gonna crisscross our legs, arms out wide, one big clap, roll your wrists, and we're gonna have ice cream. All right, what's your favorite flavor? Oh, really? Mine's coffee Oreo. All right, you're probably, what? It's the, let's do sprinkles, anything you want on it. We can do um, pepperoni, just kidding. Whatever you want though, ready? Shake out whatever you want on your ice cream. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Awesome, and scoop it. We should have already scooped it into the cone on a little backwards, and give it a lick. How is it? Is it delicious? I can't wait to go to the creamery nearby and get ice cream. One day, someday, right? All right, now let's do a table. We're gonna put our feet together in front, and I want your hands to touch behind you, your pinky finger. So your pinky finger, if you're not familiar, is the little finger on your hand. I want you good, try to get your belly up as high as you can, and come on down. And we're gonna rock and roll. Grab your knees, rock back, roll forward. Rock back, push your legs forward to roll up. One more. Rock back, push your legs forward to roll up. Good, all right, let's do another table. Feet together, pinkies touch behind. One, two, three, push up. 
and wave. Hi, good to see you today. And keep that belly up. Wave a foot. Wave your other foot. Keep that belly up. Push. Good. And come on down. Excellent. All right, guys. I think we're ready to go now. Hopefully, you have some sticks to use for our activity today. If you don't, it's okay. Um, you can use your hands on the floor, okay? But sticks make it a little more fun. Can anyone tell me what color this stick is? Orange, right? Now what about this one? Is it purple? No. What about yellow? Is it yellow? No, it's green. You're right. Good job. All right, let's take our sticks. Now, parents, pay attention to your child to see how good a job they do at their listening. If they listen perfectly the whole time, doing everything I ask them to do, then let us know that they deserve five stars by emailing us at skilltrack at metrosouthgymnastics.com. That's skill, S-K-I-L-L, track, T-R-A-C-K, and uh, we will gladly rate their ability to listen. That's an important skill to learn. And if they do perfect listening, I'm gonna make a special video celebrating their listening skills, okay? And your child won't wanna miss out on that, right? You guys wanna get that special video, right? So make sure you listen, okay? Really good listening today. Now, if I say stop, we're gonna take our sticks, we're gonna just put them on our shoulders, all right? Let's try that. Stop. Hope you're doing a good job listening. Now, watch what I do and do what I do. Listening ears on. Watch with your eyes. Let's hit the floor with both sticks. Go. Good. Can you do one at a time? Can you do one at a time really loud? I hope you're not on a hardwood floor. I'm sorry, parents. And soft. Really quiet, okay? And stop. Good work. Now, let's try this. Can you take your sticks and hit them at the same time on the floor on one side? Go one side of your body, both sticks hit the ground. All right, the other side. What about in front of you? Do you know where in front is? What about behind you? Do you know where behind you is? Good job. It's like this. We're hitting the floor behind us. Good. Now let's go and put our sticks in the air and hit them together. Hit them up high. Hit them down low. What about to one side and to the other? Stop. Good job. Now, last thing we're going to do with our sticks is a drum solo, all right? Which means you get to hit the floor or do whatever you want with your sticks until I say stop, okay? So have some fun with it. I'm going to do a drum solo too, but when I say stop, make sure you're listening and you go right to here. Ready? Drum solo. Do whatever you want. Hitting your sticks. All the symbols on my drum set behind me. Three, two, one, stop. I hope you did a great job listening. We're gonna go ahead and go on to the gymnastics portion of our class today. So if you want to take your sticks and set them off to the side, say thank you, sticks. Thank you, sticks. You were really great today. We're gonna put them off to the side. Good job. Now, we're gonna review our rolls. So we're gonna, we're gonna do our forward roll again, and we're gonna work on our log roll one more time, and then we'll do different skills on the balance beam, okay? So parents, um, if you weren't able to grab a balance beam, now would be a great time to just put some sort of line on the floor for your child to walk on. But first, forward rolls. So why don't you stand up, make sure you have plenty of space all around you so you can move and you're not gonna crash into anything, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to reach down, we're going to touch our toes, we're going to bring our knees down here, okay? Now look, our hands are on the ground, knees are together, see how my knees are together? They're not like this, 
We want knees together, feet together. See my feet? They're together. Now, knees together, feet together. We're gonna tuck our heads. Tuck, head down, roll to stand and finish with your arms up. All right, let's try that two more times. All right, I'm gonna walk you through it. You're gonna reach up high, touch your toes, come on down, knees together, feet together, tuck your head and roll to stand. Finish with those arms up. One more, ready? Reach up high, reach down, touch your toes, knees together, feet together, tuck your head, roll all the way up to stand, finish with those arms nice and high, all right? Good work, that's our forward roll. That was our skill of the week last week, so if you forgot to submit your child's video last week, you can still send one. We'd love to track their skill development on their forward roll, okay? Quick review our log rolls. You wanna lay flat on your stomach, okay? Arms are gonna be nice and straight. Head between your arms. If you want, you can put your hands together. Arms are nice and straight, legs are straight, and you're gonna to roll to one side. Stay as straight as you can. Rock and roll, back and forth in your, as your log roll. Good work. So the keys for a great log roll, straight arms like this over, uh, over your head. Your head goes in between your arms. Straight legs, and then you roll, keeping your arms and legs nice and straight for your log roll, okay? Now, on to today's event, which is the beam. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't this a beautiful beam? Pretty, it's, it's okay, all right? I don't have a balance beam at home. Uh, maybe you do. If you do, that's awesome. If you don't, that's okay. We can still do balance beam stuff with some tape on the floor, all right? So let's work on our balance beam skills, all right? Stand on your beam or stand on your line. You're going to take your hands and you're going to put them on your hips. Now, if you were on a real balance beam that's off the ground, you may want to put your arms out like an airplane to help you balance. But because I'm on the ground, I am more comfortable with my arms like this on my hips, okay? We're gonna walk forwards, ready? Take a step forward, then put one foot in front of the other, okay? Walking nice and slow to stay on our beam or to stay in our line. Let's go back the other way, nice and slow. One foot in front of the other, okay? Good, now we're gonna go backwards, all right? Try to go like this. Move your foot, take that other foot, put it behind the other one, okay? Nice and slow. Go back. Now, let's pause. You might feel more comfortable doing it like this, where you go back and you bring your foot to it, to the other one, all right? If that's what you're doing, that's okay. But we want to try to walk backwards like this. One foot behind the other, okay? See how I take this foot that was in front and I move it behind the one that was on the, on the beam? I'll show you one more time. Foot in front, now becomes the one in back. Foot in front, becomes the one in back, and you keep going. All right. Now, I think we already all know how to go sideways on our beam, right? Step out. Bring your feet together, step out, bring your feet together, step out, feet together. Good job. Let's try this one. Do you know what a releve is? You do? If you don't, that's okay. We're gonna go up on our tippy toes. So look at my feet, see my feet? Feet are together, watch my feet. They're gonna go up, I'm on my toes, okay? So let's get on our beam. We're gonna be up on our toes, and we're gonna keep our hands on our hips and our legs nice and straight. Up on our toes, hands on our hip, legs stay straight, and we're gonna walk on our tippy toes all the way down the beam. This is our releve walk. And let's come back, up on our tippy toes. Hands on our hip, nice straight legs. This is our skill of the day for tumble tykes. Releve walk, all right? 
Let's review. Hands on hips. Straight legs. Up on our toes. When I take a when I take a step, my legs stay straight. Okay. If you want to get five out of five for your stars, keep nice straight legs up on your toes, walking forward on your beam. Okay. That's our skill of the day. It's called a releve walk. All right. So I'd love to see your your skill. Uh, if your parents can take a video of you walking in your releve on your beam. They can email it to skilltrack at metroselfgymnastics.com. And I can watch it. I can let you know what you're doing well, how you can make it even better, and give you the rate in the Skilltrack app. So love to see those videos, parents. Also, if you want to just share uh, a picture of wherever your kid's doing gymnastics, you can tag us at Metro South Gym on Instagram. would love to see wherever your kid is learning their gymnastics. We look forward to getting back into the gym someday soon so we can do – our, our classes together rather than like this. But for now, this is what we got. This is what we have. And I think it works okay. I hope you're having fun. I know I am. Uh, so that's our releve walk up on our tippy toes one more time. On our beam, hands on our hips, straight legs, up on our tippy toes, we walk forward. Good. Now, let's try some other skills. We got a little bit of time here that we can work together. This is gonna be called Coupe, all right? Now watch. I uh, I borrowed some of my kids' books. We've got Little Blue Trucks Christmas. Wonderful book if you're looking for a holiday book to read. Little Blue Trucks Springtime. I love, we love Little Blue Truck. And I've got the big blue book of beginner, Dr. Seuss. All right, I'm gonna lay a couple out on my bean. Now, if you don't have anything that you can quickly put on your beam, that's okay. You can still do this without it. We're gonna stand on our beam. All right, I'm gonna go this way so you can see my feet. You're gonna take one foot and you're gonna bring it up to your ankle, okay? Ready? One foot up to my ankle, and then I'm gonna step forward, and I'm gonna bring my feet back together. I'll show you again. I'll kind of turn so you might be able to see it better. Ready, you're gonna bring one foot up to your ankle, and you're gonna, Step over your book. You bring your feet back together. This is great for working on your balance. So if you're a boy taking the class and you're like, hey, I'm not going to do the balance beam. I'm a boy. This is still good for working on your balance and your strength for, your, for all of your muscles throughout your body as you support yourself, okay? So you can continue to work skills by working your coupe. So let's try that again. Bring one foot. You're going to bring up to your ankle, and you're going to step forward over the object. Then you should try the other one. You might not be able to see this one as good. See my knees a little bit bent, that's good. You step over, excellent. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself even more, you can stand your books up. Now, we're gonna be on our beam, we're gonna bring our foot up to coupe. Then we're gonna slide it up even higher to our knee. This is passe. Try to hold it. And then you're gonna kick your leg forward, step over, bring your feet back together, okay? Try that again. Bring your foot up to coupe, slide it up to passe, kick, step forward, feet back together, all right? So that's another one that you can work on from the comfort of your own home and one other thing that I'll leave you with today as like a bonus skill that you can work on with your beam that's on your floor at home it'd be a pivot turn okay so you're going to stand on your beam you want one foot in front of the other see how this foot is in front this foot is behind I'm on my beam hands on my hips. I'm going to go up on my toes, stay on my toes, and I'm gonna turn and face the other way, okay? Let's rewind that. Good. Start from the beginning. One foot in front of the other on the beam, okay? This foot is in front, this foot is behind. 
Hands on our hips, up on our tippy toes, turn, face the other, then your feet go back down and you can start to walk. Why would you do a, a pivot turn? Maybe you've walked all the way to the end of the beam. Then what do you do? If you're not gonna walk backwards, you gotta turn around. And a pivot turn is a pretty way to turn around on a beam, okay? So we're walking in releve. That's our skill of the day for tumble tykes. Now I'm up on my toes. I can do pivot turn and walk back in my releve to the other side. Pivot turn, okay? That last pivot turn wasn't really pretty. But just to review, skill of the day is releve walk on beam for tumble tykes, okay? Our bonus skill, how well did they do at listening? Let us know if they did a great job. We'll give them five stars and I'll send them a special video celebrating their excellent listening skills. All right, I hope you had fun today. I know I did. Uh, Coach Caitlin will be back with you this Thursday for another class at 11 o'clock. Until then, make sure um, you're ready for class on Thursday with your sticks and your beam, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. Get outside, enjoy the fresh air, and have some fun. Let's do a high five. Ready, one, two, three. We'll try that one more time, ready. One, two, three, elbow, and fist bump, blow it up. Have a great day. Bye.